Telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day, pause for speech, and night to night declares knowledge. I have the opportunity of welcoming all of you aboard yet another very important part of, of what you know. We're still delving into the initial portions of this whole exercise, namely the preliminaries. And today we're dealing with the, the 14th in the preliminary set, ladies and gentlemen. Two individuals have joined the competition for the very first time. Without further ado, I have the opportunity of inviting these persons to introduce themselves. The contestants will introduce themselves. I am Bright Tulasi from the Assemblies of God Church, Vedemi. Are you the pastor there? Yes, please. Say so. <laughs> Put your hands together for the pastor. <laughs> pastor Tulasi, you're welcome. And I'm Gideon Hovi, Senator, past student of Keta Senior High Technical School. I'm Gideon Senator. Senator. Are you a senator in America? <laughs> yes, Isaac. Isaac Ban from a native of, of Akima Chianse and a resident of Anya Palasta, Aoshi, Accra. Okay. <laughs> And you are here for the first time? No, please. No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's rather sen the senator. Yeah, so. Okay. The you final know, person here. Yeah, Carson for yourself. A teacher, Edra Ashanti. And this oh. is my second time. And this is your second time. Yeah, <laughs> we are still teaching, not so. Yeah, not because all of you are, you know, you know the rules so perfectly well. And so no need to spell out. Round one, question one. And uh, right, you see, um, it, it is good you listen to this one. And the Lord spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. And this, you know, is quite located in Exodus 21 to 3. Now, there are redemptive names of God that most Christians are familiar with. You know, there is this name which is given to the altar Israel built after defeating the Amalekites. There is this altar, you know, Israel built, you know, following the defeat of the Amalekites. Exodus 17, uh, 15. Now, it is, it is known as Jehovah Nissi. Jehovah Nissi. What does it mean? The Lord our fighter. Um, the Lord our deliverer. Oh, I'll, I'll come back to you. Let's see. Um, uh, Novi. Uh, is it Hovi? Hovi. Yes. Yes. The protector. Sorry? The Lord the protector. Well, I think I'd rather take that one. Yeah. What did you say, uh, Bright? You said the Lord our fighter. Fighter. Sorry? And deliverer. Protector is better. Push one's clever for you. It's our banner, our protector. A banner of love and protection. You understand? Protection is, is um, more superior. And so he takes one point, you know, pass one to the rules. Now listen to this one for three. Now, Jehovah Shalom is also the name Gideon gave to the altar he built at Opera. Judges 6.24. What is it? What does it mean? Jehovah Shalom. Peace giver. I will allow you. <laughs> now, our perfect peace, you understand? Of Jehovah Shalom, our perfect peace. Now, uh, Ma, listen. The, the, this one here is Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh, another name Abraham, gave to the place of the sacrifice of Isaac, you know, where the, the attempted sacrifice of Isaac took place. It is squarely located in Genesis 22, 14. What is it? What does it mean? Jehovah Jireh. God our preserver. 
Um, God certainly is a preserver of life, but in this context, you know, you understand? God is, is not preserving. God our protector. But I think we've dealt with the protector business. Uh, um, um, is it um, Kasim? Uh, God the precious one. God certainly is precious. <laughs> Kasim, um, right. The Lord our provider. Our provider! Now, now, you see, Jehovah Rapha, you know, was a name God prophetically spoke about himself. Let, let, let's finish with these, you know, um, as it were, titles. But this one is Jehovah Rapha. It, it should the seal Lord it. It's, sorry? The Lord our healer. Our heal. Yeah, the Lord heals. Uh, I'll, I'll allow that one. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord, our physician, you understand? Physician, he's the supreme doctor, you understand? The, the, the top most doctor, all the doctors, you know, work under him. So Jehovah, it, I am the, your, your physician, your Lord, your God, the physician. Now, for three points, is it uh, Harvey? Okay. Harvey, now, um, listen. For three points, um, you tell me this one. Um, the five pillars of Islam are five basic acts in Islam. They are considered mandatory by believers and they constitute the foundation of Islamic life. Now, they, they are summarized in, in the famous hadith of Gabriel. What is the first pillar of Islam? You understand? The first pillar of Islam. Salah. Sorry? Salah. Salah. You, you want some right to eat or something? <laughs> yes? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, uh, Isaac Ma. Shahada. Sha oh, but what is Shahada? What is it? Allah is the righteous one, and Muhammad is his messenger. Well, it says the Shahada, all right. <laughs> yes. You understand? Can you recite the Shahada? You, you know, that, that the profession of faith. Yeah. Huh? That, that God is one and so on, and, and uh, Muhammad is his prophet and so on. The Shahada. Now, but which pillar among the five talks about prayer? How is it designated? You understand? Salah. Arabically. Sorry? Salah. Are you a Muslim? No, please. Spell it. Is that Salah? Salah. Salah. S A L A T. Oh, could put your hands together for Salah. I think that the, the, the more righteous uh, uh, pronunciation of the word is Salat. Uh, the prayer. Salat. Now, uh, Kasim, you see, Mount Everest. When geographically you can find it in Nepal, Tibet, Nepal. Now, in whose honor did the mountain receive its official name? Uh, and this event occurred in 1865. In whose honor, after whom, was Mount Everest called Mount Everest? Named Mount Everest. Kasim, you don't know. Yes, uh, Tulasi, you will collect Thomas this one. Everest. Sorry? Thomas Everest. Mm. So now, I, I, I think that the, the whole, you know, angle to this thing is the first name, not so. Thomas is unavailable. How V? Isaac. John Everest. Dan. John. <laughs> uh, Kasim, did you start this one? Yeah. Um, Sir George. Sir George Everest. Sir George Everest. Now, the final question here. Now, but, but let us find who he was. Uh, uh, let's, let's know his identity. This personality is called Sir George Everest, after whom Mount Everest was named. Who was he? What was 
his his work, his profession. Is it Tulasi? No, Kasim. Uh, Kasim. Oh, you don't you don't want the question. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the question. Eh? The question is repulsive, okay. you, so you don't want it. You loathe that question. Bright Tulasi. He was a lawyer. Oh, a lawyer. And did he specialize in anything? Specialized la lawyer who specialized in mountains. Oh. Harvey? I was a teacher. <laughs> Where was he teaching? <laughs> Isaac! He was a geologist. <laughs> well, of course you should you understand. It, it has something to do with geology, all right. But specifically, he was a surveyor. He was a British surveyor general who mapped, you know, the Indian subcontinent. You understand? Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time, as it were, was born on 17th January 1942. He died on 3rd June 2016. What was the original name of Muhammad Ali? Kasim, final question in this round. Yes. Cassius Clay. Sorry? Cassius Clay. Which Clay? Oh, let, come, let me hear you. Uh, Muhammad Ali, well, uh, the, the original name was... Put your hands together, it's in trouble. I just wanted to shut his face. <laughs> oh, you man of little faith. <laughs> Put your hands together for Cassius. <laughs> Uh, Kasim has been in, 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 in trouble in, in, in the last few minutes, mm -hmm. a few seconds. Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., end of round one. through the National Teaching Council presents Ghana Teacher Prize 2020 on the team Teacher Leadership in Developing Crisis Education Responses Guest of Honor His Excellency Nana Dodankwe Kufuado the most outstanding teacher goes home with a three-bedroom apartment. First runner-up goes home with a 4 by 4 pickup. Second runner-up gets a salon car. Categories to be awarded include the best preschool teacher, the best primary school teacher, the best junior high school teacher, the best senior high school teacher, the best non-teaching staff, the best special school, HIV AIDS Muslim-led school. Activities include a two-day symposium on the 3rd and 4th of October 2020 at 9 a.m. and a grand deba on Monday the 5th of October 20. 2020. All happening in life at the new examination center, Neck Hall, University of Cape Coast, in the central region of Ghana. Sponsors. Media Partners, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. The 2020 Ghana Teacher Prize, rewarding excellence in education. At the end of the first round of today's program, Kasim Faisal, a teacher from Edwin in the Ashanti region, has three points. <laughs> Isaac Ba from Atima Chiasi in the Eastern region has four points. <laughs> Our big senator from Adenta Accra, four points. Right. <laughs> Tulasi from Bedeme in the Volta region also has four points. <laughs> it has a four-point four syndrome, as it were. Uh, no, but let's see what happens in, in this round of the competition, namely the, the, the second round of the contest. Round two, question one. A happy birthday to Salim Ahmed Salim, who celebrates his birthday today, the 4th day of October 2020. Now, may the Almighty Allah enlarge his territories. We... Um, uh, see God's protection for him and for the enjoyment of his day to the fullest. And this has come from the What Do You Know fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio today is a former champion, a former champion of What Do You Know, <laughs> lawyer Raymond Apata. Welcome, Raymond Apata. <laughs> lawyer Raymond Apata, ladies and gentlemen, he, uh, to all intents and purposes, is a What Do You Know virtuoso. Welcome, Raymond Apata. A What Do You Know virtuoso. I want you know that you also. Ladies and gentlemen, round two, question one, right, it's not right, listen. Now, now, 
Ali took on Joe Fazer in what has been called the fight of the century. Now, the match traveled 15 rounds before Ali was knocked out. Now, in what year did Ali have, as it were, a rematch with Joe Fraser? 1974. It was in 1974. <laughs> it was in 1974, yes. Yeah? Joe, Joe Fraser was practically his, his traditional enemy. Yes. Uh, your time for the three points um, is Hovi. Now, still on Muhammad Ali, you understand, the concentration is on Muhammad Ali. He fought another personality who was known as George Foreman in the same year, 1974. Now, um, the bout, as usual, at the time, was promoted by, you know, the indomitable Don King. How was the fight, as it were, Nicknamed, how was it designated? And where did it take place? It was designated um, Ali Bumaye. <laughs> oh, that's an effort. There was a Bumaye, you know, in, in that space. There was a Bumaye, I recollect. There was a Bumaye. But the Bumaye was not the designation. You understand? There was a Bumaye in that environment. But that was not the name. Yes, Isaac. Yes, Kasim. Kasim. Right, to us, the doctor. Reverend. Pass. It was the rumble in the jungle. The rumble in the jungle. Held in Kinshasa, Zaire. Rumble in the jungle. So, uh, we are still with it, Hobby. Hobby, now, you listen to this one. Information and communications technology is an, ex an extensional term for information technology, IT, which stresses the role of unified communications and the integration of telecommunications and computers, as well as necessary enterprise software middleware storage and audio visual system which enable users to access store transmit and manipulate information now i'm going to mention an acronym in in the world of ict and your duty would be to provide the meaning you understand so start you will start the the whole campaign listen the acronym here is cd dash r CDR. Compact Dix RAM. Compact Dix what? RAM. 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 No. Compact Dix Rome. Rome. We are still roaming. You've not found your identity yet. Yes, Isaac. Compact Dix RAM. I told you that this ROM had to do with a certain, you know, middle of nowhere roaming. So you have to be very careful. Kasim. Compact Dix Rise Hour. You want to rewrite it, but the, the rewriting too is a mess, number. Uh, right, Tulasi. Compact this recorder. Oh, oh, recordable! <laughs> Compact this recordable! You understand? Uh, Compact disc recordable. Now, but this one is CD RW. Compact this rewritable. Compact this rewritable. <laughs> Compact disc rewritable. Now, this one is API. Harvey? API. Harvey. Yes. Uh, Isaac Ba. Advanced program information. <laughs> Uh, are you really connected to, to ICT? Yeah. Uh, uh, Kasim? Uh, advanced protocol uh, information. Advanced what? Protocol. So once there is an A, it has to relate to something. A P. <laughs> advanced what? But protocol. Anyway. Uh, uh, Tulasi. Class. 
Um, Kasim, uh, sorry, Hovi. Oh, you started. Yeah. Application program interface. Huh? Application program interface. I think I would still dwell, you know, on this area of, of <laughs> what do you call it? ICT. You understand, Hovi? Hovi, this one is CPU. CPU. Central Processing Unit. Central Processing Unit. Boom, Secretary. CPU. Huh? It is not the name of a political party. Eh? <laughs> it is Central Processing okay. Unit. Um, Isaac, man. DOS. 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 Digital operating system. Akasim, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your idea? Uh, disk operating system. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> disk operating. You understand? I think so. I don't know whether you were wised up, you know, from the information which was uh, put forward. Yeah? Digital. You you said what? It is digital. Yeah. What? Information. And it is a disk. You know, rectified appropriately to disk. Disk operating system and that enabled him to win one point so once you have one point for three listen ftp file transfer protocol sorry file transfer file transfer <laughs> protocol <laughs> what about gpu 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 uh, right. it's still right. no no it's right. right gpu is right Right, it consistently well dressed, you know, in his suit over there. Yes, Reverend Bright Tulasi. Yes, uh, Avi. Tulasi. Uh, sorry, Avi. Um, uh, Isaac Bar. FTP. GPU. Oh, sorry, GPU. Uh, that, that was a, retro, a retrogression. Not so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it ought to be denounced. Uh, Kasim! Graphic. Oh, but no, 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 no. Kasim. Yeah. No, you did not start. Yeah. Kasim! No. Graphic processing units. Sorry? Graphic. I will allow that one for one point. <laughs> Graphic processing unit. And the final one here uh, is L A N. L A N. Local yes, area network. Sorry? Local area. Local area network. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, to, to Lassi, uh, uh you were telling me this one for three ports. There is this book, you know, um, I think that you, it, it can be categorized in the African Writers column, African Writers series. The title of the book is Petals of Blood. Who wrote it? Petals. So all the names, you know, which are stored in, in this area <laughs> of uh, of authorship hmm? would fall. Petals of of blood. Who wrote? Ola, Ola Rotimi. Ola Rotimi did not write petals of blood. Uh, Bar Isaac. Ayikoyama. Ayikoyama. He wrote the beautiful ones are not yet born. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Kasim. James Ngugi Watiambu. James Ngugi Watiambu. <laughs> James Ngugi Watiambu. But you see, um, this book is also very instructive. The man said, every man must take one wife. It's sort of three wives. I, but one man, one wife. Who wrote it? <laughs> One more, one wife. Oh, because you want two wives, <laughs> they don't want to give us. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Dr. Kwame they don't write <laughs> it. Kwame <laughs> uh, Nkrumah uh, would not write one man, one wife. <laughs> yeah, especially, you know, when he had that kind of aspiration towards yeah. uh, the unification of the African continent. One man, so many wives in Africa. Oh. Yes, Tulasi. T.M. Aluko. T.M. Maluko. <laughs> T.M. Aluko. But you know this one. Uh, this earth, my brother. 
This earth, my brother. I will know. Which one? I will know is that. There are so many I will know in the system. Put your hands together for us. I'll allow you. Kofi, I will know. Huh? Kofi, I will not roll this one. Maybe the final question in this round of the competition, and you will do this one. Uh, who? Hobby. Hobby. Now, uh, 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 Zambia shall be free. Simple. Zambia shall be free. Hobby shall be free. <laughs> yes, if you want to, you, if you want this emancipation, declare the name. Zambia shall be free. Final question. Isaac Ma is lurking, you know, around in, in, your, in your neighborhood. Yes! Zambia shall be free. Isaac. Coming from in Zambia. <laughs> Zambia shall be free. Uh, did you start to last No. So we'll come to you. Caprani Quincy. Cyprian Quincy. Oh no, he did not write that. Who wrote it? Kenneth Kaunda. Kenneth Kaunda! <laughs> you understand? Kenneth Kaunda. Yeah, the thing ought to be appropriately localized. You understand? Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana shall be free. Of course, he, <laughs> if, apart from Ghana, the whole of Africa shall be free. But when it comes to Zambia, it is Kenneth Kaunda. End of round two. and Eastern Star Awards Company respectfully urge all to set 14th October 2020 apart and keep it locked for the grand launch of the 2020 National Energy Quest TV program to be aired on GBC's radio and networks. Under the distinguished chairmanship of the Agbogbo Mafia of the Asogli State and the President of the National House of Chiefs, Togbi Afada, the media launch will be held under the theme Achieving SDG 7 and 13, Think Energy, Act global, start local. Remember, it's the 14th of this month at the Elisa Hotel at Accra at 10 a.m. sharp. The event will go live on GTV and all GBC radio stations across Ghana. Attendance is strictly by invitation. The moment you beg God automatically, the presence of God also will follow you. you have to keep your secret so that you go far in life, so that you grow old in life. You have to keep what your secret. Bible says, "I follow you free hundred views." Suddenly, the devil, I want to come to you. Yes, you want to. I want to say, "Much ten a day." First one, are you good? Second one, are you mad? Third one, are you frank? He says, "Until the Christmas, the ten nipa day." Oh, you me be a common nipa. I just have fun free. Is I'm going to have to hold you now. I tell you, look, I'm going to tell you. Where did the time boy come? Who told you? Micah said, my enemies do not rejoice over me. When I fall down, I will rise up again. When I fall down, I will rise up again. When I sink in darkness, the Lord God will be my light. Oh yes, my enemies do not rejoice over me. Don't be happy because of me. Don't be glad because of me. Because of my falling. When I fall down, I will rise up again. And rise up again is very powerful than the one who is standing there. Let me tell you something. At the end of the second round, Isaac Ba has four points. <laughs> Hobby Gideon Senator has seven points. <laughs> Kasim Faisal has 12 points. <laughs> Bright Tulasi now leads with 16 points. <laughs> yes, uh, Bright Tulasi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, is leading at the stage of the competition. We have the last round, you know, to pursue. Uh, so let's see what happens in this final round of the competition. Round of decision, ladies and gentlemen. Round three, question one. Right, to us see the movement of animals. The movement. Huh? Human beings walk. Not so. Fine. But what do you think? Now, dogs also run. What kind of movement? Would a cat make? It stretches. Stretch like this, stretching the body. But if you stretch, how can you move? When it stretches, moves by stretching. I don't think so. Harvey? It runs. 
It what? Rants. Dogs run. Are they also dogs? Dogs run. Of course, they could also run. Of course, but they do not run. Dogs run. Huh? Cats do what? They prowl. They prowl. Are they lying? Kasim. Cats steal. They steal. You understand? <laughs> they walk. Huh? The man in which they move is a steal. A stealing. <laughs> they steal to walk. They steal to move. Now, uh, Tulasi, I am a planet. And as you travel outward from the sun, I'm the closest planet. Now, I orbit the sun at an average distance of 58 million kilometers. I am airless. And so without any significant atmosphere to hold in the heat, I don't have any significant atmosphere to hold in the heat. Who am I? Mercury. Mercury! It's correct. Mercury! It's correct. Now, um, George Oponwia, now this ex-footballer who currently uh, is, is the leader of, of Liberia. Now, he has lived a life in three acts. It has seen him move from childhood in the slums of the capital, Monrovia, to Europe's most famous football pitches, and now currently the head or the president of Liberia. Upon his life changed wherever, forever, when at the age of 21, Arsene Werger spotted him playing for a team in Cameroon. The manager brought him over to Europe, where he played for teams such as AC Monaco. Sorry, AS Monaco. Now mention one of the other teams George Oponwia played for in Europe. Arsenal. Hey, you let me wave. <laughs> Are you sure he played Arsenal? You have a second chance, though. Arsenal. You still insist on the dubious arsenal you, you indicated? Yes. AC Milan. AC Milan. AC Milan. He played there, not so. Uh, Kasim. No, man. Oh, sorry. Bye again. Yes, sir. Hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Second bite. Get it. Yeah, I, I think you're supposed to do so in turn. Yes, so Kasim. Olympic Marcel. Olympic Marcel is correct. Three points. Olympic Marcel. Uh, Marcel. Uh, Tulasi Bright. Barcelona. He did not play Barcelona. If that is your team, that's second chance anyway. <laughs> if Real that is your Madrid. team, say so. Real Madrid. Sorry? Real Madrid. You want him to play for, but he stopped playing. He can't come back to play for Barcelona. Real Madrid is also conspicuous by its absence. Uh, Javi? Inter Milan. Started. You started this one. Yes, so that's it. Huh? Paris Saint, Ma uh, Saint Germain, AC Milan, Manchester City, Olympic Marseille. Now, whose turn is it? Who? Uh, uh, who? Hobby. Hobby? Yeah. Now, you see, the, the Barclays Premiership Football League, it has fast gaining promise, prominence and, and Ghani, in fact, it has gained prominence in Ghanaian football circles. Now, most of these English football teams have very interesting jargons which come along with their names. Now, so I will mention, you know, the, the team and then you would give me the, the jargon or the accolades, you know, which accompany these names. For example, Chelsea. How are they called? The Blues. The Blues. <laughs> uh, just like the blue, uh, what do you call it? Uh, face mask you're, you're wearing. Now, um, Ovi, Liverpool. How are they called? What jargon comes, you know, with we Liverpool? We never walk alone. Sorry? We never walk alone. You never walk alone. 
You will never walk alone. But I think Manchester United. The Red Devils. The Red Devils is correct. Thank you very much. I see. Portsmouth. 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 <laughs> Why? Well, it's a laughable matter. Portsmouth. Not so. Portsmouth. Eh? The dragon is a laugh. <laughs> yes! Till I see bright. No idea. You don't have an idea. Uh, but I think the expert in this area is Isaac, not so. Isaac will come to you to see what it is. You know, Harvey, in the meantime. Yes. So to uh, Isaac Ma, how are they called? Oh, you've had your turn. No, Bar Isaac, yes. What is it? Oh, they're called Pompeii. Pompeii. Now, what about Sunderland? Kasim, Sunderland. Sunderland. Uh, Bright to Tulasi. The champions. Sunderland. <laughs> if you want them to be champions, uh, make it, your, your mind clear on that. Uh, Harvey, Sunderland. The Lions. They are no Lions. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Isaac Barr. Did you start, Kasim? Yeah, I said Sunderland, they are known as what? Barr? They are the cats. Those cats with steel. <laughs> <laughs> they are the cats. Yeah? And so when they're moving on the pitch, they will be stealing. Now, uh, Ba, uh, Kasim, Fulham. 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 Hmm? Spelled Fulham. Fulham. How are they called? Yes, right. No idea. <laughs> Harvey, uh, Isaac, the, they are called. Indomitable. Oh, disaster, please. <laughs> <laughs> they are the horses. The horses. The horses. Huh? Arsenal. Kasim. Arsenal. Is it Kasim? Yeah. Arsenal. Arsenal. They are known as what? Yeah. Uh, uh, Tulasi. The Gunners. The Gunners! <laughs> the Gunners! <laughs> they have the weapons. Uh, they have the arsenal. The weapons. The Gunners. But now for three points, um, uh, listen to this one. Now, what is the name given to a court writ which orders a person to be brought before a court or a judge so that the propriety of the detention of that person can be verified. How is this process called? Supina. No, it's not a supina. The person is brought to court. The person who has been detained is supposed to be brought to court. And the person detaining him ought to provide reasons. Someone. Huh? Reasons. Huh? Which would, as it were, identify or verify the the legality of the detention of that person. Harvey, what is it called? Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. And for three points. Uh, so uh, again, Harvey. Harvey, now that you've done this one in literature, similes. I suppose you know what similes are. They are figurative expressions which assist to vividly paint a picture or, of an image or a subject. You understand? Mm? For example, we, you say as blind as what a bat. As blind as a bat. It has a relationship with that particular animal. You understand? Yeah? As, as blind as a bat. Now complete the following similes. As harmless as what? As harmless as a dove. A dove is correct. <laughs> as harmless as a dove. Um, as it were, as obedient as what? You see, they have a relationship with certain existing 
as a sheep. Entities, animals, and so on. You understand? Yeah. The adjective, that's the adjective here. Has a relationship with something. So as obedient as what? A lamb. A, a lamb, I'm afraid. Kasim. As obedient. As a parrot. You think a, a lamb is obedient? Mm. You, <laughs> as obedient as a parrot? You think a, a parrot is obedient? Mm. As obedient as a donkey. Mm. But the, the donkey is submissive. But you understand? But yeah, it's, it could be unruly. The donkey. <laughs> Hobby. A sheep. But somebody said lamb. Is that because there's a relationship <laughs> with that? Oh, the sheep is obedient. Huh? Both of them. If it is not the lamb, it's the sheep. Both of them are incorrigible here. Isaac. Huh? As obedient as a puppet, you understand? Could be easily manipulated in whatever form. As obedient as a puppet. Only a puppet is obedient. Huh? Huh? The others are recalcitrant. Uh, now listen to this one. Is it Kasim? Isaac. 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 As patient as. Where would you find patience? Where is patience demonstrated, exemplified? Patience. Patience. Ants. As what? An ant. An ant. As patient as an ant. I do not think so. Huh? As patient as what? Tulasi? As a dog. No! Hobby! As patient as. You can't even open your mouth. <laughs> as. Oh, it's your turn. But oh, you, you've now recalled the information. Something. What is it? What, what do you recollect now? A uh, day. As patient as day. Yeah. A day? Yeah. Yeah? But well, the day would be running out very quickly <laughs> on you. The next hour you have another day coming. And you say the day is patient. It's Job alone. Job. 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 <laughs> yes, the biblical Job. He's the only patient person in the world. <laughs> as devoted as Kasim. Oh, but I'm sorry. Devotion. Who has phenomenal devotion? Abraham. Abraham. Oh, Abraham. Was, oh, now that you think we we dealt with <laughs> now, now that we've dealt with the biblical job, you think all the others should not should follow in this biblical order. We've left the Bible. Servant. As devote some of the servants are devoted. You, know, you lie about. Kasim. Uh, John. Which John is that? <laughs> which, which John? Which, which John? In the Bible. Oh, the Bible John. But I told you that we've departed from the Bible oh, here. Okay, okay. Oh, them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bright, to I see. As devoted as a dog. Oh, a dog? Oh, because your dog follows you everywhere and so on. One day you enter your house and you fail, fail to give it food and so it would bite you. Harvey! No idea. The only devoted personality in the world is a mother. Huh? No. As devoted as a mother. <laughs> as devoted, no other person is more devoted. But something is flat. Flat, final question. As flat as what? But this particular thing could be a little controversial. But you see, it has gained currency over the years. And uh, you understand? And so there's nothing we can do about it. You can't change it. Specificity in English language. As flat as what? So many things are flat anyway. But this one has gained, you know, pride of place, you know, in the column of English. And so there's nothing that you can do about it. Sorry? Uh, ba? Kasim. As flat as... land. Oh, it is true. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's a little controversial here. But the simile... The appropriate, applicable simile here is not land. Even land cannot, oh, it's not all that flat. Maybe the, when you go to the northern region, Tamale, <laughs> it's a little flat. That's why you understand. Tamale is flat. But you know, huh? Sotum, for example, is not flat. <laughs> uh, Bratulasi. 
As flat as flat bottom flask. Flat bottom, <laughs> be careful. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, Hobby. Truth. As what? Flat as truth. As truth. Oh, but then, but are you applying it figuratively or something? As flat as truth. No, no, you apply it directly. You understand? Truth, how flat is truth? We are not seeing this in its fig figurative, idiomatic sense. In its real, direct, physical sense. As flat as what? Oh, Bao, you started it. As flat as pancake. Pancake. End of the round. <laughs> Bible <laughs> Obiat me back Christo for she monobi. And ye who are dancing for Uncoa. O by ye who are dancing for she moa. Ben your Bible in church. In the poor Hobema when ye are jay. Now bet me you and Uncle Poy. Yes, sir. See a memory then you may be a no nine cosino num, a or GTV so. And you quest ya then you may be a no num pemu cosino and siam pem. Ye best show quaint. The Ministry of Education through the National Teaching Council presents Ghana Teacher Prize 2020 on the team Teacher Leadership in Developing Crisis Education Responses. Guest of Honor, His Excellency Nanado Dankwe Kufuado. The most outstanding teacher goes home with a three-bedroom apartment. First runner-up goes home with a 4x4 pickup. Second runner-up gets a salon car. Categories to be awarded include the best preschool teacher, the best primary school teacher, the best junior high school teacher, the best senior high school teacher, the best non-teaching staff, the best special school, HIV AIDS Musa led school. Activities include a two-day symposium on the 3rd and 4th of October 2020 at 9 a.m. and a grand deba on Monday the 5th of October 20. 2020. All happening live at the new examination center, Neck Hall, University of Cape Coast, in the central region of Ghana. Sponsors Media Partners, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. The 2020 Ghana Teacher Prize, rewarding excellence in education. At the end of the final round of today's Fort Do No Quiz program, Isaac Ban from Achim Achiase in the Eastern Region had 10 points. <laughs> Jorge Gideon Senator had 14 points. <laughs> Kasim Faisal, a teacher from Ejura in the Ashanti Region, had 15 points. Bright Tulasi from Vedeme in the Volta region topped with 20 points. Applause in favor of Bright Tulasi. Uh, and I suppose he has a determination uh, to, to get to uh, the Holy Grail, the, the champions of the final. Let's see what happens you know, in the remaining competitions that would come. Ladies and gentlemen, in consonance with tradition, I would invite you to put your hands together and welcome Bright Tulasi. The Ghana, uh, in the voter region of the Republic of Ghana, of course, is qualified with Kasim Faisal. You understand? For the next round of the competition, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his mighty countenance upon all of you and grant you peace. On this note, and until the same time next week when we bring you questions from archaeologists who all again, the have of my producer, Francis X, Mensa, Kinsler, Bali, Collins, Mensa, uh, Sir Collins, Mensa, Samuel, Logo, Felicia, Gavir, Sifana, Fakwa, Victoria, D, Greg Mengo, Chris Ola, Tainkra, Bernard Nate, Benizero, Tu, Stanley, Jandu, Kanjaga, Lagatin. This has been your quiz master, Dana Ferry, about asking you here. And those out there, it is what, what, what? What do you know? <laughs>